Afternoon class. Um, I was wanting to re-record this video real quick to deal with how we should do the diamond loop. Rephrase. Good afternoon class. I wanted to re-record this portion of the class lecture today to discuss how to do the diamond loop. I did not feel very confident in how we left it and I wanted to talk through some of this today. Um, so what I want you to do for your homework assignment, please follow along, type the code as we go, and I'm going to explain as I, um, as I write the code. I went through several iterations of this on my, home, on my own at home today, and I wanted to make sure that I thought through it and gave you a good explanation of what was happening. Um, this is not the only way to do this. Uh, you'll find that there are other uh, ways to produce a diamond, but uh, this is the way that I found and I wanted to talk through the logic with you for a moment. All right, so we're going to create a public static void main method and inside of it we're going to create a for loop and then this for loop will create an int y to hold our y-axis and it will be initialized to 1. We're going to say y is less than or equal to 7 and y plus plus. And then from there we're going to basically create a new method and I'm just going to start by typing here and this will take a method called print line. Now um, we can create the method right there and you'll notice that net uh, IntelliJ went ahead and created it as a public static void main method. Um, the directions on the homework assignment say that we need it to be 12, 12 by 12. And this doesn't work very well since the median of um, 12 is 6.5 and we have no way of doing that with characters having a 0.5 location on the screen. But what we can do is use a 13 by 13 so that we have a median of 7. So we're going to create some public static final uh, variables. We'll call this public static final int and we'll call this a line number which will equal 7. And then we're also going to create a public static final int and we'll call this total line num. And this is going to hold our total line number of 13. Okay, now from there, we have a number of things that we could do. Uh, the first that we're going to do is <clears throat> go ahead and initialize our array here to be the total line number. So we're going to say that y equals 1, y is less than or equal to the total line number, and we're going to uh, increment. We're also going to create another, another for loop, and this is going to be for uh, decrementing. In this case, we're going to say y equals our line number, but we want it to be minus 1. And I'll explain this in a moment as we get further on in the code. Um, so that is what y is going to equal. Actually, just for clarification, we'll just make it equal 6 for right now. And then we're going to say y is greater than or equal to 1. Oops. There we go. And y decrement value. Again, we're going to call print line. And we'll pass in our y. Now, <clears throat> this formulation, we have two loops, one that increases in value and one that decreases in value. And it will call the, um, it will call the print line method in each iteration. 
So let's talk about our print line method. We need to do a little bit of math here because we want um, to keep track of three objects uh, or three print characters on the screen. The first one we're going to handle uh, with a for loop as well. And we're actually going to handle all three of these with for loops. So let's start with creating a for loop. We'll call this int x equals 1 and x is less than or equal to and this is a variable. We're going to need a line number. So I'm going to put ln. This is not for logarithm or anything like that, but this is just a placeholder variable. And we'll declare what this is in a moment, okay? Um, but for right now, we're going to say system out print line. And to make it easier to see on the screen, I'm going to use a dash. That is our first set. And what this first set of uh, dashes is going to do is count out the dashes up to the median. So how do we get what line number is? So let's say int ln equals our line number minus y. So if we come up here in this for loop, y is set to 1, first iteration, 1 is passed in. Down here, i which is now 1 from the first iteration. We're saying the line number, which is minus 6. And then we're saying in this for loop, we're declaring int x equals 1. x is less than the number for this line number. So that means that we're going to print a total of 6 dashes in the first for loop. And um, I don't want a print line here. I just want print. I'm only going to print characters. Now I need to go ahead and set up for printing the T's. So I'm going to say for int uh, C for center equals 1 and C is less than or equal to my number of T's. Okay, another variable we're going to create. And this is uh, C++, plus plus, meaning we're going to iterate these T's a number of times. So we're going to say um, system out print line. Whoops. System out print line. I don't know what I did there. I'm going to print a T. Now we need to define the T's. So we're going to int our t's, and we need to think about this. If the total characters on the row is 13 and the median value is 7, that means that we want this t to appear at the median value. So how do we get to that? Well, we're already doing this, right? We're printing six dashes, and then we're going to the next for loop, starting at 1, and we're printing a t. And each time this print line is called again from this for loop, it's going to increment the number. So we need to find a way to capture what that T is for each print line. So let's do this. Let's take the total line number, which is 13. We're going to subtract that from our line number plus our line number. Now think about what that will be for a moment. We're going to say at the first iteration, line number is 7 minus 1, which makes our line 6. Our total line number is 13. And we're going to subtract that from line number plus line number, which is 12, which means that TS will be 1. So for this one, it's going to only print the TS one time. Now, to continue our print, we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to copy the section here and we're going to paste it out again because we want the dashes to print out the equal amount of times. Now that we've done that, we need to go ahead and put a print line at the end. And the easiest way to do that is just a system out print line with no character. Okay. So now we have set up the logic 
for printing the line. Hopefully this has made sense so far. Um, let's go ahead and run it and test it and see if I did everything correctly. And there we go. Now let me talk through the results. We printed the diamond, as you can see, with T's. So you'll notice here I started with 6 instead of 7. This is because the first time this section of code here runs, it's going to print 7 lines. And if we want the median line to be the biggest, that means the first part only needs to print seven times. Then we print the last six rows, which starts from here. And so we set that at six for the number of lines that are going to print. And then, of course, it calls the same code that we walked through. Okay, hopefully this is a better explanation than uh, what we had happen today in class. If you have any questions, please uh, email me and uh, or send me a message through the uh, the Moodle course room. All right, guys, you have a good evening.